Ladies, gentlemen, one and all, welcome to Dawn of War Soulstorm Unification once again. Now you might be wondering, Kaldaris, why are you on the main menu screen? Uh, well, that's because I discussed it a, li uh, a little while back about doing a uh, campaign. And yeah, I've, uh, I've decided, screw it, why not, let's do a campaign. Uh, it's most certainly not my first time playing, though it is the first time playing campaign on this module. And uh, I am going to be doing a campaign when the new version comes out. I'm going to be doing it as Chaos. So um, let's do what I've never done. Uh, we are going to. S this is not going to be a proper Let's Play. So I will be skipping all of the uh, all of the cinematics. And yes, we are playing the Imperial Guard, because apparently I hate myself. <sighs> okay, apparently he just filtered his voice through like one of those voice modulators. Alright, <sighs> let's see how this goes, shall we? Welcome to the single player campaign for the Total War 2. No, we're not interested in that. We are interested... In uh, which territory do we go for first? So for those who haven't seen the Dawn of War campaign before, uh, long story short, well, the Soulstorm campaign, it takes place over four planets and three moons. There are nine factions. You have to kill the strongholds of every other faction. There are no alliances. This is not total war. Or, I suppose, this is total war. <laughs> because every faction is at each other's throats. Uh, and no, you cannot go to the sun. That, that, that's just a background graphic. Uh, and uh, yeah, you have all these territories you can conquer. You got honor guard for each, uh, for each territory. So for example, here you have the Sentinel. Um... Do I go for Sentinel first, or do I go for Karov City with the Regimental Bodyguard? I mean, Karov City gets me more requisition as well. And it's strength 3, so it's only going to be slightly stronger than... Uh, Vasastan, which I can never pronounce. Eh, screw it, we'll go for Karov City. It's only the first thing. If it uh, if it goes wrong, then uh, it goes wrong. I'll just restart the campaign again. So we'll only be fighting one opponent. They are on hard difficulty, but the campaign itself is set to normal difficulty. Now the camp the di the way that the campaign difficulties work is. The AI will always be set to the equivalent of Skirmish Hard, which means that they will get the same requisition income as you, and they will know, like, how to kite and things like that. Um, all the campaign difficulty selects is um, your... I have done this completely wrong. Oh well. Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, that, that doesn't help either. My uh, mouse is... Alright, so they're going to be over here. Yeah, all the uh, campaign difficulty does is change the uh, the health values. Okay, what's going on over here? There we go, we got them. Yeah, I've gone for two guardsmen first. Normally you'd go for conscripts. Um, but apparently I'm weird, so... It's just me for you. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, guard do also have a couple of tracks I think will show a content ID, so yeah, I've got the music as low as I can, mostly. I think there's only like one. Maybe two. Uh, you might go over there. 
I should have set the rally point. Oh well. Okay, there. Get the conscripts to capture that relic. Okay. Uh, capture that first. Oh, it's dusk. Wonderful. What uh, what condition what uh, stuff do I have set for my? I'm sure you do. Oh, there's a turret there. Well, that's kind of awkward, isn't it? Shoot him! Yeah, he's not very good with his uh, gun early, but uh, later on he'll get very good at it. Another players. No, let's just go. Let's just tear straight up. Might sound mad, but it's probably wise. Uh, well, that's nearly done. Someone's also sending you in that direction. He's not doing too badly. It's now midnight. It's a little bit closer. I wonder if I wonder if distance to target improves accuracy. I never actually looked into it. Uh, I'm still not used to navigating with the middle mouse button. And suddenly Praetorian music. Let the bugles fly. Well, I say fly, more play. If you're throwing bugles at the enemy, I don't think that's going to be particularly. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to particularly work. Well, they are coming back to try and capture it. Uh, I don't. They're not sending in. Ah, screw it. Okay. Uh, it was F, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. It was S. Why, why is it S? I suppose they don't have any, like, heavy weapons? I'm not sure. Understood. Understood. Yeah, we'll get a Psyker anyway. Okay, that's that's done. Can we now afford? We cannot afford. There we go. We were against this is a battle. We, we need the... Uh, <laughs> we need the vehicles. Where are they anyway? They don't seem to be doing anything. Did you? Then why didn't you do it earlier? Oh, do that. Well, we're being shot by someone. Uh, use lightning arc. <laughs> Off you go. Doodles. And now the morale's broken. Yes. Be on. Oh, another squad. Uh, I have not got any heavy weapons, so I think I'm going to need. How much are hellhounds, by the way? Oh, uh, that's, that's the wrong depot. Stay at the top of the ramp. Uh, did, uh, oh, we did capture that relic. Okay. That's something good, at least. I seem to remember Hellhounds being 150, 150. Oh, is that correct? It is! That means I can't afford a Hellhound for quite some time, which is a little bit problematic. Uh, the vehicle rushing is not so much of a rush, more it is a slight jog. No matter. Alright, tactical control up. Get some plasma and grenade launchers, probably. Or do I just save up the power? Uh, we won't save up the power. Jeez. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, I want to get the. Uh, okay, let's send you out slightly. Just have a little peek. Please build on those. My concern is, is that I'm currently letting them build up, which is a really bad idea. You do not let the enemy build up. Yeah. They're getting a lot of... Uh... Oh, hello. Well, that's kind of rude, isn't it? I wonder if the fact that I'm here will prompt them to withdraw. Possibly. 
get you. Can we get a hellhound out, please? Get in the building. I mean, at least, at least it can kind of shoot back. Uh, no, that's A. Uh, I want a D, apparently. Target that. That's a, target the score, you're not going to do anything against the goddamn cannoners. Uh, right. They have no... To target the sisters of battle squad that is so difficult for you to understand. Out. We repair it. Uh, probably. Careful. Knock them over. I said knock them over. Don't fire the building anymore. Oh, Jesus. Well, I hope you can, because uh, my guardsmen can't. <laughs> We've got like 20 health each. Okay, maybe not 20 health, but you know. Well, we got them to sod off at least. I don't know what my hellhounds. Okay, can we kill the cannabis? Alright, here they come. We're in heavy cover. Good luck with that. Yep, good luck with that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Tactical control stuff, uh, battle armor. Uh, I don't want one of the Emperor yet. I'll get that in a minute. Their morale is still really low, but you know, it's, it's fine. We'll survive. I don't know why I'm getting the banner bearer. Don't ask me. Uh, what's it here? I see no vehicles. That's something. Oh, devil! What are you doing? You utter morons. Uh, well, you don't just stand around and uh, get shot, that's for sure. Well, we're doing, we're doing okay. Conscripts, if you'd be so kind to go and catch that point. Yeah. This is not going too badly. Uh, let's get some sentinels just in case they start uh, going for vehicles. Right. Well, the Hellhounds seem to be leading the charge, so screw it, let's lead the charge. Won't. We don't want to let them build up too much. We're a little bit, uh, a little bit weak as the guard. Not like late game or anything. Late game, the guard are actually pretty strong, but uh, it's just getting there without getting murdered by uh, Sisters of Battle. That's the uh, main issue. I'm surprised they didn't put. Oh, but now they've put a turret on there. Yeah, that's, uh, we might actually be able to push in. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, you catch that point. Fun, fun fact, I don't think I've actually upgraded any of my... Uh... Okay, I've upgraded like one of my points. Destroy the Covenants. The AI does like building... Uh... Yeah, the AI does like building uh, extra building, like production buildings. It looks like we got uh, we got here early enough that uh, they're not actually at vehicle tech yet. I'm not going to complain about that at all. Nah, they're running now. They don't think they can take my army. Well, that's the end of that then. Pretty much. Call call to you as well, bird. Wait a minute. When did I reinforce? I don't remember reinforcing. Oh well. Free meat shields, I guess. Shoot them. Shoot them all. 
Oh, you got Pyres of Vaughn. Oh, God, they use them. They use that ability that uh, reduces accuracy. That's kind of annoying. Uh, use Soul Strip on Pyres of Vaughn. And those are Celestians. We oh, God, that Hellhound's about to die. Okay. Now I think we've got it. Move him over there. And in theory, that should be it. Hooray! We annihilated the enemy. Yes, I'll destroy HQ, it's annihilated, by the sounds of it. Ugh. You have liberated Carol City from the dreaded scissors of battle, fighting armor of the Ecclesiarchy. Indeed we have. And hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be able to uh, deal with the rest of their people as well. Uh, right, so... I've heard that going for the... Uh, the range weapon options on this character is actually the better solution. Or is actually the better way to go. So, you know what? We're going to try and build them as a ranged combatant rather than a melee one. I think we need... Yeah, Ibram's vestment we're not getting for a long time. So, no Kassigan bodyguards for us. Uh, well, let's start with... Oh, wow, that is a massive ranged increase. Oh, that's the wrong one. Allows General to see across several spectrums and provide ready tactical data. Well, he does... We are going to be getting attacked by the... Um... Ah, what are they called? Death Cold Assassins during the... Um... Doing a stronghold mission here. So having some mobile detection, right? Wait a minute, we get psychers. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I could just put a sight. I literally did it in the mission. I just... <sighs> whatever. Well, hopefully we do actually um, get... Attacked. Wait a minute. Dark Eldar are coming over here. What the, f what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Get off my planet! <laughs> oh, that's um, that's interesting. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. Well, um, well, that's only a one defense territory now, so I might as well go and break it. Um, especially because Tariel's probably gonna then start coming for me. Uh, yeah, so let's... I, I want the Sentinel, but uh, I do want the Sentinel. And I don't want... I wonder if I let them. So, there is a way to farm the early game as such. And that's to let the enemies take your territories back. And then you sort of crump them. And then, obviously, you that, that's progress towards war gear. I think, if I've got that correct. Because I think it only counts... Yeah, the number of provinces your forces have conquered. Earn war gear by conquering... Uh, well, I don't know, but we got to go... we got to go um, punch the Dark Eldar anyway. I mean, if they're going to reduce that territory down to one, then uh, quite frankly, I think I can't say no. Chalaganda Lulans. Is this the one I think it is, where you start, like, the bases are in the corners and it's an eight-player map in skirmish, and then each faction is, like, yeah, like they have two bases in each of the corners. It is! Right, so you down there, get conscripts this time, and a guardsman, and don't press V, because that's not a hotkey. Right. 
So on the plus side, we won't have to get the Psyker. Though we do need to get the Psyker anyway, because so, uh, Lightning Arc is pretty, pretty good. Especially against Mandrakes. My concern, though, is going to be that... Uh, The Command Squad's not going to do well in melee. The Psyker will knock them back, but uh, our general here has 554 health. So, you know, not the most... Not the most spectacular uh, health pool in the game. I'm half tempted to get... Uh, to get a Priest now, just for... I don't know. Oh, come on. There we go. Right. Yes, sir. We need to start capturing the critical locations. I could probably rush them. Let's go see if we can just harass them to the point where they can't actually get an army up. There is work to be done. You are not wrong there. There is a lot of work to be done. There's like four planets in this campaign, and uh, yeah, I feel like I should be sending the regimental bodyguard as well. Uh, uh, <coughs> if you could take that, please, gentlemen. Right. Okay, so what's my range damage? Not improved that much because I went for the wrong war gear. Oh well. Oh, here comes some mandrakes. Shoot them! My god, you are doing nothing. Whee! Bye bye. Oh, that's an Archon. Yeah, we're not fighting him. I mean, I knew he was going to, uh... Oh, and he's, uh, Battle Command. I didn't know that Lightning Arc actually had a tech requirement. Okay, so we're not, um... We're not taking down the, the Eldar base yet. It's probably not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, that's the wrong thing. Yeah. Uh, give me that. Thank you. Get through this, I know it. Actually, you go and capture that relic. Oh, yeah, no, 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 capture that, that's fine. Uh, then I'll go start capturing all of that, and it should be good. Should. It won't be good, will it? We're fighting Dark Eldar as Imperial Guard. Capture that. We don't want them having a relic. Oh wait, they've got a relic there. Oh wait a minute, so they've got a relic right outside their base. I have to go all the way over here. It's favoritism, I tell you. Uh, let's get another guardsman squad. Because I honestly don't trust what I have right now to... Uh, okay, do that. Right. We'll get through this, I know it. Can I put my turrets in any location? I can! Perfect, right. So we'll put one there to act as a spotter, one there to act as a spotter, one there to act as a spotter. Now you might be thinking, that's a really stupid idea, Goldaris, why did you do that? Well, you're talking to the person who decided to equip my general with a... oh god. Uh, who decided to equip his general with a war gear that was pretty much obsolete as soon as he picked it. So, you know. Bzzz. Off you go! That's a lot of mandrakes. And warriors. Yeah, no kidding. Soulstrip, go! Uh, I'm, being attacked. I'm being attacked over that. All right, get them near the general so that they can detect. Uh, they're going to go and capture that. Or try, anyway. Where are they going? Are they going to go and capture all those? Because that would be really not... Oh, no, no. They're trying to take that. 
should be able to take these down relatively easily. Uh, don't let them melee two squads at once, damn it. Give them a run around. Uh, I am going to get another tech priest because I other ones are busy. Or well, my other ones are busy. Not I other ones are busy. That's not correct. Uh, that's not correct grammar. Oh. Uh, Oi! None of that, you! Can I get them to stop that? Or are they too smart for that? I think they're a little bit too smart to stop capturing the point just because they're being shot. Yes, they are. And there goes my taking hold victory. Uh, dear God. Yeah. I forgot that those uh, get more reinforcements with the... Uh, Okay, well, we're not defending that point at the moment, so just f focus on dealing with those warriors. God, I hate Dark Eldar is... God. And they're going for my base. Oh, dear. Alright. Get a heavy weapons team. Get a... Mechanized command. I think we're going to have to go for the same strategy with the Hellhounds. Let's another turret here. You can go. The Archon is deciding to attack a random listening post. They're going to my base, which is rather annoying. Okay, you're, uh, you're getting murdered. Hopefully that's it. Uh, convinces them to uh, otherwise toddle off. It did. Perfect. Yeah, tactical control. I was not expecting to actually have to fight a proper... Well, a proper thing here, because normally the um, enemy is actually pretty rubbish at taking hold victory. They just tend to... Um... There we go. Off they go. Yep, good luck with that. Here comes the, uh... Oh, I've got heroes on. I didn't, didn't know that. Eh, it's fine. It's just a horror effects grenade. Just ignore it. Ah, and it's spread to everyone. Get up! And luckily, my regimental bodyguard did not care. Alright. You are indeed the Imperial Guard. And that's why I'm scared, because I'm terrible with the Imperial Guard. As you can probably tell by, like, everything I've done so far. Give me power. That's not power. One day I will get the hotkeys right. Uh, we're fighting Eldar, so morale is probably... Uh, or Dark Eldar specifically. Right. Now, the fact that I've taken so long means that I'm probably going to be dealing with vehicles soon. So we might want to be a little bit concerned about that. Oh dear. Hopefully I'm not starting to... Uh... See, the thing is, I had my... Um... I had my third COVID jab yesterday, and uh, I thought, oh, no, it'll be fine, because uh, so far I've only got the sore arm, uh, like, symptom thing, side effect, and now my nose is running. I do not like my nose running. Uh, I need a regimental before I get auto cannon, can't I? Yes, I do. That's unfortunate. I cannot afford it. I need more plasma generators. Oh, yeah, plasma generators. No, oh, I actually got it right. I'm surprised. Right. Uh, you got the conscripts just so that you can use execute. Put them at the front. 
The Emperor protects. Following orders. Uh, I don't know about that. That's got an upgrade, that's got an upgrade, that's got an upgrade, that hasn't. More requisition the better. They're sending two warriors to go and deal with that. Those two warriors are now back in Gomorrah. Or they've been eaten by Slanesh, one of the two. Depends how important they were. They weren't trueborn warriors, so they're probably not going to get... Um, they're probably not going to get um, brought back to life by the homunculi. Let's get sentinels just in case they start bringing in Re Reavers? I can't remember the name now. Tattoo! Or three, or whatever it is. Oh, yep, yeah, they're, they're attempting. Attempting a pushback, but uh, it's not going to plan. So what do the regimental bodyguards get that the standard guardsmen don't? Right, so so regimental bodyguards get grenade launchers, plasma, melter, flamer. And standard guardsmen, oh that's what I was concerned about. A raider, that's the one. Right. Oh, and they've got dark lancers. That's even worse. I've not got any. Uh, I've not got any anti rack weapons. Okay, you get melters because we don't have any sentinels yet. Uh, we got cursed the machine spirit, so if they do come back, we can uh, we can ruin them with that. Pay that bit of coin. I could just upgrade these to devil dogs, but you know uh, uh, that, that would be the sensible thing to do. I want the flames for the infantry. Oh, Scourge coming back. Uh, where's the raid going over there? They're not. They don't seem to be dropping troops off like a sensible player probably would. Yeah, they're going for the. Uh, they're going for the. Vehicle approach it would seem. Let's move the troops over that. Oh, those are witches. Oh god, no. That's a problem. Well, wouldn't it be a shame if we set them on fire? Oh look, apparently witches burn quite nicely. Uh, we'll get uh, the shortcut for that is G. So let's use that. Come on then. I've got a somewhat prepared defensive position. What are you going to do about it? Well, you say that. I forgot about these guys. Uh, two, two, three, four. That's where the... Um, Yeah, that's where the second enemy spawns on uh, defense four, uh, defense five and up maps. So uh, it'll be useful in theory. Oh god, no! They're, they're doing the sensible thing. Oh, no, wait, never mind. They they they, they gave up on that. Put the Punisher turrets in. Just to... Like, I purely want them for the anti-infantry, just in case uh, they decide to... You know. What the other Sentinel? Oh, it's all got mingled in with the uh, conscripts. you think I would have noticed that, but evidently not. Leave my worker alone! Punish your turret. Go! Jesus, that does so much damage to infantry. <laughs> uh, you can't go wrong with a punish your turret when you're fighting Eldar. Well, I mean, you can. They could be going heavy vehicle. But, you know. Kessican quarters. Yeah, let's get a weapon specialization. Why not? Might as well. I could afford it. Uh, Sentinels. 
<laughs> just one shot. Well, I say one shot. It didn't really one shot, did it? Because it was already half dead, but... Over half dead, in fact. I'm surprised they've not come from the rear here and... Uh, tried to take that critical location just to try and prevent the timer from going off, but... Um, well, that's their problem. Because now, they have been kicked off Carava 1. You suck! I'm, I'm, I'm giving them the middle fingers, but you can't see because I've not... I've not got my, uh, my face cam on. I got nothing from that, but uh, it did kick them off the planet, so, you know. It's a bonus. Uh, let's get one hell out there, just to uh, give us a kickstart. Let's end the turn. Oh, they moved where I wanted to go next. Oh, you git. Alright, well, we'll move there then. End turn. Are you going to attack us? No, you're not. You're going to move out of that territory, actually, so that uh, works for me. I dread to think what... Uh... Oh, you've only got Sisters of Battle Squad. Well, that's, that's fair enough, then. Uh, I'm also going to have to start thinking of where I want to go next. For you see... Wait a minute. Why are the Necrons in control of Iridane? This campaign is all kinds of weird. I've never seen the Necrons actually move off their original planet. In theory, the Necrons could actually go over there. <laughs> That's not a nice thought. I don't... Of all the factions I am scared to fight, it's the Necrons that are at the top. Because, God, really squishy infantry, often rely on numbers more than anything else. Necrons, complete opposite. Well, I say complete opposite. They do have numbers as well, but they are generally exceptionally... Um, Strong per model. And... Yeah. I mean, I can probably be one. It's the, it's the two bases that I'm concerned about. I'm going to need enough honor guard to be able to rush their first base down. And then just go from there, pretty much. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Praetorian music again. Yay! Good old Praetorian music. Hmm. I could actually just send them with the uh, with the general. I said that last time, I think. But... And kill that. And get another worker, or builder, even. We just want to stop them from leaving that little square over there. This is only a two defense map, so... You go capture that one, you go and capture that. Actually, no, you can you can go forward and capture the relic, maybe. Or that. I've actually been playing the uh, the mod recently that allows you to play the Souls, uh, not Souls one, the um, original campaigns in Soulstorm. Sadly, one for Dark Crusade does not exist, but you can play the original and Winter Assault. And stick you on sound ground. Hopefully, they actually kill that thing. I say that thing. It's a missionary. So. Right. And they are gone. Right. Good. Okay, let's just murder him as well. I don't want to waste a soul strip. I really don't want to waste a soul strip on the uh, on a missionary. Ah, they captured it. Oh, that's fine. We'll go and uncapture it later. Point. <laughs> what are your 
Eh, right. I forgot to actually send in my regimental bodyguard. That doesn't help. I don't know. Depends how, uh... Depends how they actually, uh... How they retaliate. Let's get Matera. Okay, I think we're doing alright. I do have a slight advantage over the sisters in the sense that um, because of the difficulty level, technically I am... Uh, I do have more health than they do, like, in terms of percentages. Uh, you might as well capture that critical location, to be honest. They don't seem to be coming and capturing us, so uh, we'll do it. If you don't want it, then I will take it. It's probably more like they don't want to get shot. Details. Okay. I think we might be okay. Because they can't now get out of here. Like, at all. There, there is no way for them to get out of their base. So, at this point, I pretty much have the lay of the map. When you play the campaign, this is kind of how you have to play it. You have to rush them and contain them. Especially on the... Uh, especially on some of the other maps. Like, especially when there's two opponents. Because, uh, yeah, otherwise the AI will get a little bit out of control. And that Tech Priest Engine is over there, so we might as well use him as the... Uh, let's capture these bit, these points... Uh, person. Get me a... Ship Mechanized Command. Get me a heavy weapons team. It's funny that the uh, grenade launchers for the regimental bodyguard don't actually need um, don't actually need a tactical control, but all the other upgrades do. There's probably a reason behind that. I.e., it's not been assigned the correct requirements in Core Six, but uh, aside from that, maybe it's an intentional decision. Who knows? The devs. The, the devs will know that. Uh, nope. You know the drill. Hellhounds. Charging. Set the Sisters of Battle on fire. I mean, they like fire, so it's, it's not like it's... Ooh. Speaking of Sisters of Battle. Please stay on stand ground. They have flamers. They have flamers. Get them in there. Luckily, they've decided they don't want to take that fight. Uh, oh, why not? <laughs> Just pretty much troll them at this point. We've... Well, I'm not going to say we've won this, because that's pretty much jinxing it. But uh, I, I think I'm pretty confident in my, uh, in my victory here. A true general does not let overconfidence... Uh, Defeat him. Or something like that. Uh, might as well get the uh, thermoplasma generator as well. I should hope so. Let's upgrade these. Upgrading these is actually going to be particularly useful later on when the uh, Sisters of Battle attack this place again. If this is a battle attack, this place again. I, I'm kind of hoping they do, just purely based on the fact that, you know, I want the defense war gear. If no one actually attacks me during any like, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to get these people out of there. Uh, yeah, if no one attacks me, then uh, you know, it's kind of annoying. Get a couple of chimeras as well. 
Because they do have flamers now, so uh, we want to hide our troops inside a uh, Chimera if possible. Or even better, two. You only need one squad inside to activate the side guns. Or we just use the, fl the Hellhound to burn the burners. That works too. Um, it's kind of got stuck because of Dow pathing. There we go, that's fine. That cannoness is really weak when you're on uh, normal difficulty. Ah, there's the track that gets me content ID'd. Yeah, anything from Two Steps of Hell will do that. Uh, audio Machine as well, anything from them gets you content ID'd. I could just put that there, I'm not going to. I'm going to put an infantry command down. Right. You guys will go in there. Yep, one for Chimera. You get in there. Wait, that's Q? Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, in fact, actually, let's keep the regimental bodyguard out, because they're like just. They're just guardsmen that are actually good. Well, individually. And instead of charging into the enemy base, my uh, my vehicles are going to do some wonky pathing and um, crash into each other constantly. Oh no, we're turrets! Whatever will we do? Just blow it up. Well, you did a fairly successful fort splitting exercise there. Uh, you get some plasma. Yeah, I actually, I actually find Chimera is pretty decent. I think I've said it before. They're um, they're a good vehicle to use, especially when you're up against heavy morale breakers like Sisters of Battle, Salamanders. Dark Eldar to an extent, Emperor's Children, those, those sorts of factions. Uh, where did my, um... There he is. I don't think there's actually even a point in having him. <laughs> I shouldn't have even bothered. We've murdered all their infantry with the vehicles, so, you know, it's, uh... Oh well. all of these. I mean, I've got enough uh, resources, I might as well. Let's build a pain blade thing here. No, that's not. In fact, I could just build a HQ here just out of spite, but uh, no, I won't complete in time. And I'm not going to delay the end just because I want to basically troll them. That would not be a good idea. And I got a sentinel. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. Oh, Eldo are attacking, uh, or being attacked by uh, Necrons. Ah, they are attacking us. Right. So they are strength two. I am strength one. But I have a load of stuff left over if I remembered to keep campaign bases on. If I didn't, then I'm going to have to fight this battle again, but that's not too much of an issue, because I, uh... Well, I pretty much proved that we could just do it with, uh... Starting from scratch with just the elemental Bodyguard and... Mr. Uh, whatever his name is, I can't remember. Van Stubbs, that's the one. And it's now snowing. Joy. Uh, get one of those, get you over there. Yeah, if you have problems with this, by the way, uh, with the campaign bases, uh, you can just make a new profile and it will uh, it will start working again, in theory. Uh, 
And then let's move you two over here as well. I accidentally started the Sentinel Depot research, but that doesn't matter too much. Let's get some long lads, why not? And a heavy stubber. Sadly, uh, none of the upgrades carry over, but it's... I don't know, it's easy enough to uh, get them again. So yeah, now they're literally trapped in their base. They, they cannot do anything. Technically, what you can do is because, uh, like, with campaign bases on, it keeps everything, including listening posts, uh, capture strategic points. So you could actually come in here and capture their two strategic points, build turrets on them, build turret walls around here. <laughs> then as soon as they spawn in, they just get blown away by heavy bolt of fire. But uh, or missiles, if you upgraded them to missile turrets. I mean, I might as well build some more power generators. Or at least I would, if I could, you know, remember the hotkey. There we go, snowstorm's gone. Is it? You get melter guns. Sadly, despite the fact the uh, regimental bodyguard does actually consist of a uh, large number of... Uh, of... Um, women. Same voice line, same male voice line. I don't think that's possible to change. Not overly sure. And... Ah, they just got out of range. Alright. Get you up close. Now, fire your long lads, lads. I like long lads. They're basically sniper rifles, but, you know, lasers. Where's, uh, where's Vance, by the way? There he is. I didn't actually get, uh, I didn't actually get my commander on him, so I can't do soul strip. What a shame. And he managed to melee the cannoners. Excellent. I'd say, uh, that's a very big Laz, uh, a Laz shot that the, uh, long Laz produces. Inferno, indeed. Perhaps a disco at the same time. I, think, I like how the uh, missionary is basically trying to attack a giant tank with flame that fires flames um, with what's basically a stick with a book and a skull on the end of it. At least it looks like a book. I don't know. Oh, they just ranked up to experience. And they're gone. Well kind of gone. Now they're gone. <laughs> I keep forgetting we're playing on Annihilate and not Destroy HQ. I'm so used to playing on Destroy HQ because that's my preferred... Um... Ow, 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 ow. God, lifting my arm up freaking kills. <sighs> Alright, one walk here. Now let's get the correct, um, let's get the correct thing, the Storm Bolter. Because, um, yeah. I mean, at least it increased my range damage, but the infiltration detection was kinda pointless. Kinda. Also, I've got all the war gear. Then, in theory, yes, it should be fine, but uh, hang on a minute. I thought the Necrons attacked that and won. Well, they might have lost. Anyway, that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be it for today. Um, let's do a IG1. Yes, that's going to be it for today. So, next time we are going to take the fight to the Sisters' Stronghold. Although we do have one more thing to conquer first, and that is for a commissar. A regimental commissar. 
who will probably be immediately attached to the regimental bodyguard, because that stands to reason. Um, I don't think you actually get a uh, regimental Lehman Russ of any sort. You get, uh, I can get some, uh, get some Caskins. Those would be pretty good to deal with the um, Necrons, I think. Well, they're, they're infantry anyway. But I can't see any vehicles beyond Sentinels. So sadly, no, we shall not be getting a Lehman Ross, but ah oh well, it was worth it was worth hoping, I suppose. To a degree. Ooh, a Vindicare Assassin. Interesting. Uh, anyway, yes. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed it. And until next time, I have been Goldaris. Goodbye.